It is Saturday, June 29th, 2019. Uh, we're here at Tomogamy for an eight day canoe trip. Uh, we started at Gamble Lake. We're heading down the Lady Evelyn River into Sucker Gut Lake, into Lady Evelyn Lake, into Tanner Lake, Eagle Lake, Whitewater Lake, and then uh, into Ananip Lake to finish it off. Uh, the weather's supposed to be really great, just a couple days of rain. Um, so far, just some black flies have been out, um, not too many mosquitoes, but it's a hot, beautiful day. Uh, we are now on the Lady Evelyn River, so we get to go down this for the rest of the day and find a campsite. It's beautiful. Here's a remnants of an old logging bridge. There's a couple common McGansers. Here's our first moose of the trip. Here's our second moose of the trip. So this is the 280 meter portage that we've come into and we've just been lining it down it on the right side. Uh, we were able to line down the first portage or the first uh, set of rapids as well. So uh, we're almost out. So this is camp for night one here on the Lady Evelyn River. Uh, this is a campsite beside the falls at the 345 meter portage. Uh, so the water access and canoe pull out is here. Uh, this campsite shares a portage as well. Uh, but it's got a wide open area right by the fire pit. It's got a great tent pad here, or tarp. And we got the tent back here. And the portage trail just continues up to the left. But best of all with this campsite is this incredible waterfall. Yeah, absolutely incredible waterfall. And it continues on to the right. So I found these flowers, and I think they're orchids. They're really, really quite beautiful. There's two of them here. So tonight for supper, we got North Sidekicks. I believe it's the cheese and broccoli one with dried hamburger, peppers, onions, and a variety of mushrooms. That's coming together nice. It'll thicken up when I let it sit for a while. And uh, this is an incredible view of uh, Lady Evelyn River. What an incredible view. Same with uh, same with this waterfall. We're just out for a nighttime cruise. We came across this uh, boulder field earlier. There's all these round boulders. Kind of seem out of place. Good morning. It is day two here on the Lady Evelyn River. Uh, we're heading over to McPherson Lake today. Uh, so we got a bunch of small portages to get over to there. Uh, it's a little bit chilly this morning. Only the mosquitoes are out. A little bit of them. And it's going to be a beautiful day. The sun's just coming up. So we're looking forward to it. Uh, we just got the coffee on the boil right now. Uh, got a nice little uh, chimney rock. Fire set going for the Purcell Trench Grill. It's a really awesome way of cooking. Uh, it's a beautiful day. So for breakfast today is oatmeal with uh, dried fruit. Coffee of course and we're going to enjoy this by the waterfall. So we just started out in behind our campsite and uh, we were able to get by the first rapid no problem. Uh, this is the second one here so we're going to scout it and uh, see if we can do it or 
Let's see if we can line it even. Um, if we can't, it may be worth just taking the 300 meter portage instead of going through the campsite. So we scouted that rapid and we were able to run it right through the center. No issues, no rocks. Uh, it is pretty high water right now. We've noticed we've been able to skip a lot of portages and just line. Um, got the life jackets on, of course. It was a lot of fun. So uh, this is the 50 meter portage. Uh, it's going to around these rapids here. And it's over these nice little boulders. Ah, uh, we've just finished the 125 meter portage. Uh, we're just about to McPherson Lake now. What a beautiful view of that mountain. So uh, this is the rapids and portage and campsite into McPherson Lake through that canyon. Uh, it's a really beautiful uh, canyon actually. Lots of boulders and pretty high waterfalls. And McPherson Lake's a long narrow lake. And lake. Uh, there's two islands in the middle. It's just a long narrow lake. Uh, it looks like there was a, a burn not too long ago, maybe 20 years ago. On both sides a lot of young growth. So uh, we're just stopping here for lunch and some water here on McPherson Lake and we got some uh, sardine cheese and hot sauce for lunch. And uh, it's Really beautiful view. This is a decent campsite as well. Temp pad just up there. Big fire pit. It's nice. So we are just at the 145 meter portage leaving McPherson Lake. And uh, we're going to try lining the left shore. It seems very doable. Uh, there's just one section near the end that we might have to lift over or push it out and around the rocks. So that worked out very well. Uh, just right here was the only uh, sketchy part. Cole pushed it out and around all this stuff and then we'll just hop in here. Worked out very good. So we're at the 195 meter portage. Uh, the portage is on the right here. But uh, we think and we scout it to go canoe down the right side of this. And we should be fine and then there's another set of rapids further down around that corner that we'll have to uh, figure out. So we had no problem uh, canoeing down the right side of the top rapid and then we just lined this bottom rapid here. Uh, it was no problem there as well. Uh, we didn't really scout it out but it looks like you probably could run it as well. This is Stonehenge Lake. It's a really beautiful view of the lake. 720 meter portage into Catherine. And we're just portaging around a, quite a few series of rapids. Uh, that's the first one there. And then the second one's down there a bit further. So we we're trying to get onto the 720 portage into Catherine Lake. And we were looking for the left, left cutoff. Uh, we never seen it though. So we ended up kind of halfway. We got a couple more rapids that neither line or portage. Um, but on the way back to get the second load, we saw the cutoff at that point. Um, so if you're if you're going down with the river, if you get to the campsite, you've gone too far, and the cutoff's very subtle. So just keep your eyes out for the left cutoff if you want to take the 720. So we just lined the left side of this rapid, but I don't think there's any reason why you couldn't actually run it. We just didn't scout it ahead of time. That's the only iffy spot, but it's not bad. So this is Catherine Lake, right after it opens up. Uh, we uh, were able to line both of those rapids uh, quite easily to get into this lake. So it was a lot easier than the 720 meter portage. And this is the lake we're camping on tonight. Uh, it goes into the narrow straight ahead. And then there's a few campsites down there. So this is going to be camp for night two here on Catherine Lake. Uh, we picked the second last campsite before you hit the portage back into Queen Elizabeth River. Let me just show you around camp. There's uh, one water access. Got the canoe pulled up there. And we just got a fire going to get rid of the bugs. And there's a second access there. 
that's a bit nicer that one and we're expecting rain in the morning so I just set up the tarp and the bug shelter uh, they were a lot worse before we got a fire going now they're not too bad so that's nice a little retreat if we need it and here's the fire pit decent fire pit and the tent pad is all the way back here but there's actually two very nice tent pads very flat and actual soil so here's the tent just got to set that up a bit more inside and here's the second tent pad just huge yeah this is a very nice camp and uh, today wasn't too bad we missed that 720 meter portage but it actually wasn't bad just lining it worked out pretty good in the end yeah it's gonna be a beautiful day I'm just gonna sit back and relax now so tonight for supper we got chili mac and right now just rehydrating the chili portion of that and then once we add the noodles it'll thicken up a lot and uh, we didn't have to do anything with this uh, fire pit it was already set up for cooking perfectly great system so this is the final product of our chili mac it's come out perfectly yeah so we got this great fire to help along with that and uh, we're just going to enjoy this beautiful sunset we're out for another nighttime cruise and this lake is just like glass. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> 